Fancy Sir De Shaw, so watch carefully. A up Charlie leading hope for Ireland is number one for Andrew Lynch. And Willie Mullins looking for his sixth success of the week. Beneficent, likely front runner under Brian Cooper. Captain Conan for Nicky Henderson. Let's have a look at some of the other key contenders here. Dinas, six to four favourites for Tom Skudmore and David Pipe. Ted Walsh, father of Ruby. Tip Marito each way on the morning line. Module's been a fancy of mine for a while. And Texas Jack for Noel Mead. Paul Carberry, fit to ride the horse. Third intention, only narrowly beaten by Captain Conan last time. Big price at 25s. Name on that board. We had two grey winners on the first day. We could have another one here. It could easily be another winner for Willie Mullins, courtesy of A Up Charlie. Or could Nicky Henderson claw one back, courtesy of Captain Conan? The same protagonists to the four. If Captain Conan were to win, it would be his 50th, 50th Cheltenham Festival winner. Quite extraordinary. Nicky Henderson has ra uh, racked up so many successes at this prestigious contest. Simon Holt has called all our races this week. Let's say good afternoon to him now. Thank you, Nick, and uh, good afternoon, everybody. And uh, beginning out in the centre of this uh, race course, this huge race course here. But of course, it's two race courses in one, or three if you count the cross country course. And we're on the new course today, and it's a very different track, a much longer track round. There's a three furlong okay. home straight, a long run to the second last on the chase course. And uh, certainly uh, some of the jockeys prefer riding on this longer course. They've got a lot more time. They can bide their time and really ride a race. And so these runners about to come out onto the course here in a race in which uh, Dinest right. is come a on. warm favourite. He could have gone for the RSA. He's gone for the juice and a, a roar from the crowd sends them on their way for the first race on day three of the festival. And Beneficent on the near side of Molotov and on the right the lighter grey Sire Collange. Uh, Dinast in the maroon and yellow diamond jacket in about sixth place in these early stages. Argo Cat is close up as well. Captain Conan in the pink with the blue cap as they now run on to fence number two and they flick over over this one with Desert Cry. One of the bat markers was very slow at that and drops to last place. Beneficent from Molotov, then Sire Collange and Captain Conan. Dinast on the outside of Module, followed by Argo Cat. Then Third Intention, who sports a sheepskin noseband today to help him concentrate. And then Desert Cry from uh, Marito further back. And uh, then Texas Jack A up Charlie and changing times towards the rear now as they swing left-handed and head towards the next plane fence. Beneficent and Brian Cooper, this horse wearing a hood for the first time. Another concentration aids. Beneficent leads by a couple of lengths to Sire Collange on the far side. Daryl Jacob for Paul Nichols, the champion trainer, still looking to get off the mark at this year's festival. Jumping the next. Beneficent, Sire Collange, Molotov on the near side in the shades of green. Uh, Tony McCoy riding for Nicky Henderson. It's Barry Geraghty that rides the other Henderson runner, Captain Conan, in fourth place. Din Aston, Tom Skudamore is just behind these module on the right in the green and beige quarter jacket followed by Argo Cat uh, then Ruby Walsh on Marito in the pink jacket jumping in about seventh or eighth place with third intention on his outside wide out is the white face A up Charlie in yellow sleeves followed by Texas Jack Desert Cry and changing times as they jump the next all still standing all safely over that plane fence as they race in front of the stands and once again a huge crowd here at Presbury Park as they race away towards the back straight. The configuration in the back straight is much the same as on the old course. A plain fence followed by the water jump, an open ditch and then another plain fence. But this course differs that from then on because it's a much longer turn at the top of the hill before they begin the descent towards home. It's beneficent by a couple of lengths to Sire Collange and Molotov and Captain Conan. Model is on the inside jumping the first down the back. Marito jumped that very cleanly with Argo Cat close up and then third intention. Dinas just shadowing the leaders on the outside, getting a clear view of the fences behind fellow Grey Molotov. 
as they now jump the water jump. Beneficent flicked through that from Molotov. Dinast disputing third with Captain Conan and Sire Collage, the favourite there, Tom Scudamore, on the outside. This now a jumping test, an open ditch. Beneficent was the first over. They all took that in good style there. Molotov joining Beneficent. They're stalked by Dinast. Then Captain Conan. Sire Collage on the right over the next plane fence. And once again, the jumping very impressive. Desert Cry was a bit slow, possibly at the rear of the field. Now they swing left-handed going up the hill towards an open ditch. Beneficent from Molotov. Dinast close up on the outside. Captain Conan between runners there. A big jump from Captain Conan. A module still there with Sire Collange. Then Argo Cat, third intention. Behind them changing times and Marito. Uh, further back is Texas Jack from A Up Charlie and Desert Cry is dropping away as they jump the next uh, plane fence. Heading now towards the fence at the top of the hill, slightly on the turn. They've got four fences left to jump. And Beneficent, Molotov and Tony McCoy on the outside. Dinas poking his grey head between those two as they jump what can be a tricky fence. Dinas kicked into it and joins Beneficent there. Molotov was not so fluent. Captain Conan is third, just pushed along, followed by Module, then Molotov, Argo Cat. Marito is making some ground with Texas Jack on the outside in the orange jacket. Back to Sire Collange and changing times as they jump three out and Dinas was the leader there. Dinas takes it up as they run to the final turn. Captain Conan trying to go with the favourite into second place. It's Tom Skunamore from Barry Garrity. Beneficent relegated to third. Marito still running on under Ruby Walsh in fourth place as they run into the home straight. Just under three furlongs to cover. Two fences to jump in the Juson. Dinas leads to Captain Conan. Beneficent is hanging on in there in third place from Marito. This is the second last. Dinas, oh, he stood right off it, reached for it, and Marito is down, went fourth, and still in with a chance. It's Dinas challenged by Captain Conan, who's staying on really strongly. So too Beneficent on the inside. At the last, flying jumps from all three. Beneficent staying on really strongly, regains the advantage. The favourite will be beat. Beneficent by three or four lengths to Dinas. Captain Conan and flattening out, changing times is staying on well, but what a game win here by Beneficent in the hands of Brian Cooper Dinas didn't really get home in second place up the hill, changing times finishing better than anything with Module then came Captain Conan followed by Texas Jack and third intention, and back in the field Molotov, Sire Collage Argo Cat and A Up Charlie so we've got a little bit of a surprise in the first race on day three, Ruby Walsh perfectly all right after his fall from Marito and it's gone to another of the Irish train runners the Tony Martin trained Beneficent in the hands of Brian Cooper receiving the congratulations from fellow Irish train rider Paul Carberry and Din has nothing left to offer up the hill well, a wonderfully patient ride here from Brian Cooper, his first ever Cheltenham Festival success. Tom Scudamore booted Dinast into the final couple of fences, gave him every chance, but the stronger on the running was the hooded horse, beneficent for Tony Martin from Ireland. What a thrill for Brian Cooper. He's only a young jockey, and this will be the highlight of his career so far as he comes up to a roar from the crowd, punches the air, waves his whip and says, thank you, thank you to Beneficent. Let's hear from Brian Cooper. His first Cheltenham Festival winner. You must have heard from other jockeys what it's like. What is it like for you now that you've done it? Oh, it's unbelievable. You know, it probably hasn't sinked in a bit yet now, but it's what you dream of. You know what I mean? I haven't dreamed since I'm very small and I can't, can't, I can't feel how well I feel. Now. When Dinas went past and Captain Conan, it looked as if you were beaten. Yeah, um, look... Tony told me sit, you know, even if I do get headed, turn in, to just sit and let him fill himself away. You know he'd stay, it was just why I thought I'd have a bit more speed for them. I deferred to him, when they went by me and I got stuck into him, he picked up and winged the last, you know, and went down and galloped the whole way to the line. Your best ride's still to come shortly on, on O'Connor. Yeah, that's tomorrow now, so fingers crossed the ball can stay rolling. Ryan, congratulations. Thank you. Cheers. As soon as Beneficent started to overhaul,